So the other aspect of cyber, particular to insurers, uh, is that they might be liable uh, un under policies that they've written for losses that clients may have due to cyber. And there's really two aspects to this. Uh, there's what we call silent cyber, which is that they may be liable under existing insurance policies. Uh, and the other is affirmative cover, where they are setting out to provide cover uh, against the cyber type risk. Uh, we have done quite a lot of work to understand with insurers how they think about these risks. Um, and at the back end of last year in November, uh, we uh, wrote to all of the UK insurers, uh, so-called Dear CEO letter, um, setting out our findings and also uh, with a draft supervisory statement of our expectations in this area. And really looking at those two areas, silent cyber and then affirmative, uh, on silent cyber, our, our finding was that this is becoming uh, increasingly uh, pervasive risk across a number of lines, uh, particularly uh, casualty lines, uh, where uh, firms could be liable under a, a number of different types of policies. You can think of directors and offices policies, uh, liability cover, um, but even, for example, marine or aviation, where you can, God forbid, a cyber attack brings down a plane or or, or that type of uh, event, um, they could be covered. And we, and we found that generally uh, insurers were not, did, did not have risk appetites for this set at board level, um, and they did not have a systematic approach of either excluding cyber risk or pricing cyber risk or limiting cyber risk. Uh, and our view is that that's the, the way that the industry needs to go. You need to have a, a firm-wide approach to this set at board level, uh, and then you need to have a consistent policy uh, of, of either excluding, limiting, or pricing uh, this element of the risk. Uh, affirmative cyber uh, is growing uh, as, a, as a market, particularly uh, the so-called data breach type policies, which, which flow from uh, the, the legislative requirements on firms in the US currently, but Europe is coming, um, to notify customers if there has been a data breach, and insurers stepping in and providing uh, policies and services that that, that provide that service, and that's been a growing market. Um, but also other types of cover as well, business disruption, for example. Um, in this area, um, we, have, we, we think it's good that, that, that the industry is responding uh, to this demand. We think that, that there's a good possibility that insurance um, can actually improve standards uh, in, in the wider economy of cyber management. Uh, so there's a real role for insurance here, uh, but it is important uh, it's an immature market and it's important that uh, we develop the risk management expertise, uh, we develop the, the pricing expertise, the sources of the data needed to price appropriately um, and, and, and the governance uh, to enable this to become uh, a more mature market.